Yeah, yeah, if like you want to spend money on plastic surgery, I'm not going to spend money on our dates. So, you know, which one is it going to be? You know, That's right. So. You have a great attitude, yeah. Ken. Let's remind everyone uh, what happened yesterday. Our studio audience saw Ken's three choices, and they voted for one. Let's take a look at all three women again. First, it was Andrea. She says she's attracted to skinny men, and she admits to a major sugar habit. Then there was Lauren. She enjoys dancing around the house to blues music, and she dates only once a month. And finally, Heather. She says she hates when a man talks more than she does, but loves when he has great hands. All right, the audience vote was recorded yesterday, and we'll get to that later. But right now, Ken, tell us, who'd you choose? This was a pretty easy one, Pat. I chose Lauren. You chose Lauren? Yeah, number two. All right, Lauren is backstage, so let's say hi to Lauren Leitner. Hi, Lauren. Okay. Thanks for being with us. We're going to find out about the date. Tell us about it, Ken. Well, I called her up and I said, you know, hi, and I told her a little bit about me. You know, so we both grew up in Tarzana, and we just, I just got wanted to get to know her on the phone, and it's, you know, we seemed to bond on the phone, not like you know a love connection right away. <laughs> and, and tell us, what was your impression of Ken over the phone? Uh, well, at first I was a little overwhelmed because the first thing he said was, are you ready to set up our date? And I was just like, okay, sure. And um, he just, he was overwhelming the whole conversation. I didn't really get to say too much during the conversation. But I noticed the one thing he had said something about was um, <laughs> um, something about his high school reunion as if he was going to ask me to go to his high school reunion. You know, I didn't have a date for my high school reunion, so I was just, you know, so Throw it off about. an idea. Well, sure yeah. it was. Now, she picked you up, and tell us what happened next. Um, well, I came down, and I brought over some roses. And there's a little problem with them. They were kind of frozen, because I left them in the refrigerator for a day. <laughs> which I didn't know. The guy at the floral shop said, you know, leave it in the refrigerator with water for a day. And I just didn't look at it for 24 hours. Right. And then... So tell us what your first impression was when you saw him. Um, well, I guess the first thing I noticed about Ken was his hair. It was just um, kind Gee, of all over the place. <laughs> um, but, and then he handed me the roses, and they were beautiful, except they were frozen, and I kind of didn't know where to put them in my car so they wouldn't defrost and kind of <laughs> spill all over the place. Um, and that was, they were, and the price tag was still on the flowers. <laughs> I thought I took it off. Yeah, and you left the price tag off. Well, I mean, maybe it was the vase I took off, and not the roses, but, um, no, tell she's us, not. Tell us what happened next. You met at the door, and what happened? Well, you know, we went in her car, you know, after I gave her the roses and all the little small talk of typical dates, and we just, you know, went to this really nice continental restaurant in Sherman Oaks. Beautiful restaurant, excellent food, good cuisine, window seat. I thought it was a... I thought it took her to a really nice romantic little getaway over in the valley and I was, I mean, I'll be honest, I wanted to impress her. I wanted to like show off a little bit. So I didn't want uh -huh. to take her to, you know, one of the fast food sponsors of the show. So I took her to a nice little restaurant, <laughs> you know. All right. Well, thank you, sir. And, and what was the conversation like for you then, Lauren, when you got into the restaurant? Um, well, the conversation was a little tough for me. It was kind of like pulling teeth every once in a while. I had a hard time conversing with him. You know, it was more, maybe sometimes it seemed more like a monologue than a dialogue. But I mean, I was telling her everything. I was saying, you know, I don't want to hear about ex-boyfriends, so I didn't talk about that. I was saying, oh, I see you like to go do dancing. You like tall guys, older guys. See, I was that's... Just... Yeah, that's the thing, Pat. He had everything memorized on my application. I don't even remember what I put on my application. I mean, it's, you know, it's one thing to read something. It's just another thing to know everything well, about that, that's me. that's okay. Of, you're Lord, just, I just you're preparing. You, you wanted to be a little prepared. I wanted to be prepared. I was a Boy Scout. And I just wanted you to have a good date, you know? <laughs> I mean, if, you, if you're allergic to sushi, I'm not going to take you to Benihana, you That's know, right. so, you, you know. You did a little research. Absolutely. And how were his table manners, Lauren, at the restaurant? Um, well, they were fine up until the point where I had a salad and um, I didn't finish it and he took the rest of it. Took the and, rest? I, okay, he, uh, I took the offered, rest? I offered. and You he, offered, I said, you know, Okay, should hold I? on. All right. And um, <laughs> <laughs> he, um, I offered, you're right, you accepted and you ate the rest of the thing and he ate it with my fork still on. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, I didn't even realize yeah, that. Yeah, you, you didn't realize that. I'm just one of these guys who can eat what he wants and not gain weight and I mean, it was, a, it was an $11 dollar salad i mean I might, wanted, I might as well be eating. might as well eat it you yeah, know there's hungry people in the world you know? a good attitude Ken. now you got through the salad and then then what happened on the rest of the day well you know we had a really good meal you know i thought i thought i had a good time but anyway you know i was saying you know you're ready to go dancing let's go dancing because you said on the video you know and on the application you like to go dancing no techno so i know this really cool club why don't we go there and she um basically Friday night, she went out with a girlfriend. She's out till three or four in the morning doing who knows what. So she was tired, you know, so she didn't want to go dance. I'm like, that's fine. We can, you know, maybe go for ice cream or she likes CDs. So we went to look at some CDs yeah. and she bought an Aretha Franklin. I even offered to buy her all the CDs you want. She said, no, I'll pay. I like, yeah, okay. I, no, I didn't want him to buy me anything. I just, I didn't think that was right. So. so, I mean, you know, I mean, maybe it was better that she didn't want to lead me on. You know, she's a very 
she's a very sweet girl audience. And I mean, if I don't get her, whoever does go out with her, and she hasn't had that many long-term relationships, would be very lucky. And I mean, I'm, I'm appreciative that I went out with her, you know? I mean, it's just no luck connection. Good for you, Jen. Good for you. No one will just stay the night and go home, you know, and just talk. Not sexual, but just talk yeah. and get to know each other. But she was tired, and, you know, she... Well, she had enough. You obviously enjoyed your date with I, Lauren. You I had a good time. I enjoyed it tremendously. And let's find out who the audience voted for. There you go, Ken. The audience chose Heather by 45%. 45% chose Heather. If you would like a date with, with Heather, Ken, we'd be more than happy to pay for it. Sure, why not? Give it another chance. All right. It was nice meeting you, Lauren. Yeah, nice she'll be looking forward you. to it. Thanks for being Thanks. with us, Ken. We appreciate it. Tell us about your date. Lauren, I'm sorry we didn't make a love connection. That's okay. Come Thank back you. and see us again. Well done. All right. We're going to take a break. We'll be right, right back with another couple after this.